Hey guys, we're back finally. Well, Cindy couldn't film yesterday because she basically lives at work now, so sorry about that. But we have to work saving money for SM Town. That crap ain't free. I know that you're all just gonna love this week's topic. It's our favorite thing. We're going to talk about saucing fans. I know. Please stick around through the whole video because at the end I have some nice little announcements and information and just stuff. I'm not going to go into too much detail just because I know a lot of the other members have really good examples to give you guys. First of all, I just want to tell you what a saucing fan is in case any of you don't know. I still don't know why I call them fans. In the most basic sense, they are stalkers. And these stalkers go above and beyond a level of obsession that is just very, very scary. Not only do they follow the idols around everywhere, they can also get uh, very physical and even violent. Um, they will steal their phone numbers, they will find out their address, emails, basically just invade any any kind of privacy that they have and let's face it idols don't really have any privacy and for these stalkers to take it away from them it's just it upsets me i mean sure i would sometimes like to follow idols around uh <laughs> but not to this extent whatsoever and I think that at a certain point I would understand that what I'm doing is crossing a boundary and I can reach my limit and I will leave them alone because I love them and I don't want to scare them and I don't want to like get arrested and have them hate me and I'm gonna bring up the whole like, JYJ saucing fan controversy thing them you know swearing at their fans and allegedly abusing them even um, I've heard people say that, oh, that's going too far, but honestly, when you are being stalked and you come to know these people, you see them every single day and they won't leave you alone and you just, ugh, how can you not get sick of that? And you just snap at some point. I'm not saying I know what it's like to be an idol, but being under so much stress and then having people just completely invade your life so rudely I would probably slap a hoe too <sighs> but as far as other ways of dealing with them it's I really don't know what to say I know that um, idols speak out about it and tell the fans that this is making us not like you this is making us grow apart but there's really just no reasoning with a crazy person and that's what these stalkers are they are crazy people they're not right in the head and although idols know what they sign up for when they want to become idols like they know the saucing fans are out there they know all that stuff but i mean if that's your dream you're still gonna pursue it anyway um, but knowing they're out there doesn't make it any easier to deal with them. And I wish there was some way to go about this because it really does worry me. Especially at airports, okay? If I see any more people pushing poor, cute, innocent little idols to the ground and trampling all over them, I will find you. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this topic. I want to know what you think the worst case would be, like what group, what incident, um, and also how you think they should be dealt with. So yeah, please leave your comments and let us know. Okay, real quick, I just want to show you guys. Erica made me this wallet and it's super awesome. It's Uhyun obviously um 
and this was actually made out of duct tape which is super cool um the inside is amazing look at that bam you got like this fold here here you got credit card slots here and you have this like change part here i can't even ugh. my song they won't let me open this you get the picture and then the back nam uhian it's amazing and she will make these for you whatever color you want that she has available patterns etc uh your bias or group or whatever um yeah you can order these and i highly recommend it so you should check down there i have the link to her etsy shop so really go also she wrote me a letter on this shiny stationery and it's pretty ballin just saying announcement ah okay so we are going to be having a giveaway slash contest soon hopefully that depends on you guys when we reach our 50th subscriber we want to give them a little present i.e a wallet like i just showed you except not even like maybe if you don't want this like layout of a wallet um there's other ones there's like bill folds and coin purses and all that kind of stuff there we that's our present to you for getting us so far we really need your help getting to that goal but for those of you that are like well hey i'm not going to be a 50th subscriber so why do i care you should care because we're also going to be having a contest once we hit our 50th subscriber we will be giving away a special little k-pop package uh, it's top secret, so I can't really say any more than that. But if you want to be a part of the contest, once we reach our milestone, then please click here, subscribe, and then you will know when we reach our 50th. You will know when we have the contest and you can enter to win and you can have K-pop merchandise that we send you for free because we're nice people. I mean, but if you don't like K-pop, okay, that's it. Bye.